my first impression of you was that you're really funny because we met when we were shooting a sketch for a friend. And I remember your character was like shy and you were like turning, do you remember what I'm talking about? Into the wall and it was so funny and I kept laughing. So the magic of this memory for me is that um, I was really depressed about college and don't remember a lot of things that happened. So I have almost no recollection of shooting this sketch. Also, do not totally remember meeting you. <laughs> Are you serious? feel last night? I don't know. I feel weird talking about it because also like sometimes you feel good about it and people don't like it. I'm very, very anxious by nature. I'm a very anxious person. Uh, I, I am trying to fix that. I'm trying to alleviate that. I uh, started smoking weed recently. Any, any weed heads in the house? Sort of a, it was a bit of a doomed excursion since I thought uh, cool people who smoked weed called themselves weed heads, so. You're great. Well, you're the reason that like I started doing stand-up. So, I've never had a boyfriend, but I have a hundred exes. <laughs> the way that that works is, you know like the first two weeks when you're seeing a guy, and it's kind of exciting, because you're like, does he know my last name? Will we ever see each other again? <laughs> I will be in that stage for eight months. <laughs> I got you something. I also got you something. Um, Here you go. Just before you, sorry, saw eager hands. Um, this is heavy and there's something very fragile inside. This is light, but it's still important. So, should I open it? Yeah, boxes, yeah, it's a little tricky. It's a tricky box. Yes. So, Rachel got me poppers. I did. I was thinking back to our conversation where we were like, 24 is a good age to be kind of bad, mm -hmm. toxic. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, I only feel like I do like one bad thing a year. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I think I kind of do more than that. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I was like, this kind of can help you expand that part of your life, like that kind of a thing. To all the kids watching this at home with your families, this episode features an inhalant colloquially known as poppers. Though this is a fun, you know, gif and a gag for a comedy piece, this is serious stuff, okay? And to any kids watching, just don't do them yet. Oh my god, wait, I love this guy. So you can't keep these. They're Julie the director's glasses, and they're from her grandmother and they're family heirloom. Um, that's what I got you, a big bottle of seltzer. Thank you. Should um, we crack it open? I think that, yeah. Cheers she... it? I love seltzer. Thank I told you. you my dad said he loved your set. That's all I need. All I'm looking for is fatherly approval. He was like, I own you were great. I was like, my, say my name first, I'm your daughter. No. No, you're not. He's my father. <laughs> okay. I think I'm constantly searching for fathers. We don't have to get into that. <laughs> I like my dad also. No, 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 but I here's the thing, one need... dad, not, not enough. enough! I got my period for the first time when I was jogging with my dad. We were like jogging together and I was like, I don't feel good. And he was like, you're annoying me. And I was like, I just feel, can I just go to the bathroom? And I was like in the bathroom, like crying, like into a pad. And no. he like knocked on the door and um, I opened the door and he was like, I'm sorry, but it's just life. <laughs> oh my God. And honestly, he's right. It's true, it is. It literally is just life. Were you funny growing up? I definitely feel like I was creative and loud or mm -hmm. whatever. Like I would make my siblings do Christmas plays with me and I would like write them and make everybody sign contracts. And then after I would add stuff like, everyone has to give the director like a back massage or whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> what about you? Um, I was not funny growing up. And I was like very anxious and very shy and I just liked reading a lot. And then when I was in eighth grade, I had a drama teacher who was like, you would be good at improv. And I was like, please mind your business. I'm only here because this is mandatory. And she was like, it's not just the loud people who are good at stuff. Like it's also like, the quiet people and the people who listen. But even now I'm like still a very anxious person. Anxious person. Oh, me too, well. for sure. I cried after the show last night, but I don't know why. I know, I knew you were crying. That's why I kept telling you good job. 
Uh, but I didn't. I didn't think that I. I thought I did I a good job. I know you didn't think you did a bad job. But, but I'm just saying, was like, I yeah. thought maybe that was. I think I just through. anything with like a lot of emotions, especially when there's like other people mm-hmm. and everyone feels different emotions. Mm-hmm. It's like I I can't process them after. I feel like when people aren't anxious, I'm like, what's wrong with you? It's like everything could go wrong. Like yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you know how the Instagram like filters? Did you do the what A24 movie are you? Yes. What A24 movie do you think you are? I think I'm the last black man in San Francisco. Good movie, beautifully shot, great substance, ultimately flawed execution. <laughs> and, you know, poorly timed release. I would say for me, Bling Ring or Spring Breakers, but the character who cries and goes home. Yeah, I think that's true for you. Those work for me. Yeah. Here's a good one. Timothy Chalamet, Army Hammer. I guess I have to be Timothy. I actually think I'm the Timothy. Why? We walked past him once, and remember? Yes. And he didn't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. And yeah. Army Hammer wants people to, to talk to him. To He's always tweeting stuff. Oh, you're right. You're so right. I know. I remember that time. Small head. <laughs> we have. <laughs> He's never going to watch this. You're and right. If he, he does, does, I don't think it's a thing he's self-conscious about. No, I think no, he no. likes that. You're right. Because it makes him look taller. Small head, taller, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to be as dry as possible. I will take sort of a blow dryer and sort of just like, like down my throat um, in order to just make sure I'm as um, hoarse and uncomfortable as possible before I go on stage. That's good. Mm. I learned that in um, school. Stand up school? Yeah. 